Following the common practice period, composers began to experiment with the use of harmony in intervals other than thirds. Harmony in thirds, including triads, seventh chords, and extended harmony, is known as tertian harmony. In this video, we will begin to explore the use of harmony in fourths, quartal harmony, fifths, quintal harmony, and seconds, secundal harmony. Here is a simple melody that can be harmonized in a variety of ways. If we use tertian harmony, we could use C major 7 for the first measure, D minor 7 and G7 for the second measure, and C major 7 for the third measure. 1, 2, 5, 1. If we approach this like a jazz composition, we could use a combination of four way close and drop two voicings by adding the following notes. Here is the sound of this arrangement. Previous example used concepts that we have studied before based on harmony in thirds. For the next example, we will use harmony in fourths, chordal. While chordal harmony has many applications that are only limited by the imagination of the composer, we will voice down from the melody using fourths. Here is the same melody as the previous example, with two notes added in fourths below the melody. For this example, we are using notes from the C major key signature. Because of this, most of the chords are based on perfect fourths, but the fourth chord has an interval of an augmented fourth between the lower notes. Here is the sound of this example, with a D note added to the bass to give it a Dorian modality. In the context of chords in perfect fourths, the presence of a chord with an augmented fourth can sound out of context. By adding a sharp to the F in the fourth chord, we now have all perfect fourths. Here is the sound of this example. For the next example, we will use harmony in fifths. Like the previous examples, we will begin by voicing down from the melody using fifths from the key signature. In most cases, this creates all perfect fifths. The exception is the third chord that has a diminished fifth between the melody and the next note down. Here is the sound of this example. Like with fourths, in the context of chords that are based on perfect fifths, the presence of a chord with a diminished fifth can sound out of context. By adding flats to the B and the E in the third chord, we now have perfect fifths. Because of this change, I modified the bass line to have C in the second measure. This removes the harsh minor 9 interval between the D and E flat. Here is the sound of this example. For the next example, we will use harmony in seconds. Like the previous examples, we will begin by voicing down from the melody using seconds from the key signature. Seconds are dissonant intervals, so this will create a harsh sound that could be appropriate depending on the musical context. Here is the sound of this example. In addition to using chords that are stacked in fourths, fifths, or seconds, the notes can be reordered to make different sonorities. Here is a chord in perfect fourths. If the D is moved up an octave, we now have a chord with a fourth and a second. If we reorder the notes again by moving the G up an octave, we have another chord with a second and a fourth. Here is a chord voicing in perfect fifths. We can reorder these notes to create a variety of chord voicings. Here they are reordered in fourths. 
Since these notes can be reordered from fifths to fourths, the fourths can be reordered to include a second and a fourth. Here is a final example that uses a combination of chord voicings that contain fourths, fifths, and or seconds. Here is the sound of this example. 